Rogers spinning double uh, O or four millimeter kit uh, of an E4 tank. As I'm sure most of you can see, it's the same one off the Bluebell, aka Birch Grove. And it was in uh, the Umber Brown London Brighton South Coast livery. Uh, this one's been made into the uh, SR Olive Green of the 1920s, 30s sort of uh, era. Uh, this kit, as mentioned, is a white metal kit. The main body is white metal. Uh, this kit's getting quite scruffy now that it's uh, seen quite a few years of uh, use on the layout. Probably need another a redo on the side, really. But it's not too bad, it's holding up okay. Uh, the chassis underneath is actually uh, a ready to run chassis. As you can probably tell, the wheels aren't quite big enough really for this uh, loco, but uh, it seems at the time I didn't really understand the art of uh, chassis kit building, especially this one was uh, etched brass. I didn't quite know how to go about it, so the next best thing was to uh, find an 060 ready to run chassis and try and slap an extra two pair and two pair of wheels on the back. So. Uh, which I managed to do this chassis was about £17 off eBay. It's one of the 3F or Gin Tank chassis underneath this. And what I've basically done is I've modified the rear end uh, where the uh, old coupling was at the back. I've mounted a uh, sort of pony truck to the rear and added a bigger set of wheels. Now, the pony truck, I believe, was off an 8F, a Hornby 8F. Um, this has been modified and hung on the uh, old screw mounting for the, uh, the actual coupling uh, which used to be there and now uh, supports the uh, the rear pony truck uh, I've added some crew and some real coal in there uh, the paint for this uh, came from uh, I believe it was Phoenix Paints the transfers white lining was uh, from uh, HMRS and mainly trains I bought it from uh, the southern uh, letters and numbers again with press fix transfers from mainly trains the kit itself is actually from mainly trains as well you can buy this kit in in uh, various states you can buy it without the motor and wheels for i think it's about 75 80 pounds at the time and you can buy the whole kit with motor and wheels etc for 100 and i think it's 30 maybe a bit more can't remember um but generally it's Quite a nice kit, quite a popular little loco, and they run it quite a lot on the uh, Bluebell. Um, I also added some lamp irons uh, to the front there. The extended uh, LBSC ones as added on Birch Grove. Um, nice little loco, nice little tank engine. Pulls quite a lot because of its weight. Um, but yeah, quite a few years old now, it needs probably a bit of updating, but still good runner, runs quite well considering the chassis, probably needs an extra pair of pickups on the back, but never mind, it still runs reasonably well.